Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a password generator in Scratch. Now, uh, first of all, let me let me just get this out of the way. Um, I haven't made a video in a month, or a month and a week, but who's counting? Um, so, so very sorry about that. Uh, I'm I was well. I was first of all I was busy, <laughs> and. Uh, and I was also, I, I didn't have any ideas, so <laughs> this is the first idea that came to mind. I am working on two, uh, I'm working on two other videos at the moment, so you will see that pop up, uh, at the latest, uh, in two weeks. Yeah, but, so, uh, also, uh, today we are going to be making a password generator. Now, passwords are complex, like... Some passwords, they are great, like, um, well, uh, like, well, I don't know what a good password is, like, random characters just slammed onto the screen. That's a very good password. Uh, but some passwords are terrible, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, which suck, or QWERTY. Uh, so, today, I'm going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to make good passwords, uh, well, how to make Scratch generate good passwords for you. Now, there are three ways to do this. One is, well, randomly typing on the screen, uh, on, on the keyboard, and that's a great a great a great way but it's not very memorable so the first way that I'm gonna be showing you is how to make a password generator that is not memorable but is really good and I'm also going to be um, at, so and then the next tutorial will be how to make a password generator actually two password generators that are uh, really hard to break but easy re really easy easy really uh, <laughs> really easy to uh, remember, so let's get right into it. So I have a new Scratch project up and running, and you might notice there's some a few things different about uh, about my version of Scratch, and that is the fact that there's this lock button, and the find, things like that. Now that is because I'm using the Scratch add-ons extension right here, and the Scratch add-ons extension is basically just making Scratch much more comfortable to use. And so what what we're gonna well I'm gonna be using that it's much easier to use Scratch I would recommend you get this uh, it's not I, I'm this is not an ad um I, I'm just I'm just saying uh, that it's good that it was for, good for me so uh, you can go ahead just search up Scratch add-ons on 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 Google or whatever whatever browser you're using and uh, you should just find be able to find the link okay so. Uh, one more thing before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up a password checker uh, online app. So password checker, right? Uh, how good is your password? So I'm just going to be using how secure is my. Oh no, not this one. Okay, let's let's do password check. This first one right here. Now this is really good because, for example, let's say you enter a QWERTY, right? Uh, well, this is. <laughs> This is, well, I put two Q's in there. Anyway, yes. So, uh, QWERTY is um, a very bad password. So I'm going to be using this to check the strength of our passwords. All right, so now let's finally get started. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and delete the Scratch Cat. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Scratch Cat. Um, Okay, and let's go ahead and create a new sprite. Actually, should we create a new sprite? By the way, I'm doing this on one take, so I don't have to edit it, so I can just put it up onto the onto YouTube as fast as I can, so that's why I, I don't have a plan. Uh, let's see, should we make a... No, okay, let's, let's just do it in the backdrop for now, and if it doesn't work, we can just transfer to a sprite. So I'm just going to paint the backdrops. Let's go ahead and create a new list. And this list is going to be called uh, Characters. Let's call it characters. Click OK. All right. So inside this characters uh, list, what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess you could do this manually. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and um, inside this characters list, let me just go ahead and type out every single character on the keyboard. Uh, and I will share this project on my Scratch, so you can just copy you can just import and export my characters file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into a quick time lapse and or, or uh, a fast forward and just type out every single key on the keyboard. All right. 
see you in a little bit. Yeah, so they're, all in all, I have 83 characters to work with. Alright, so now we have a working, or we have a list of characters. And what we can do, actually, is what we can do is we can go ahead and grab the item 1 of characters, and then we can do pick random between 1 to 10, but not 10. We're going to go ahead and delete the my variable, actually. Uh, and then we're just gonna put in length of characters pick so it's item pick random one to length of characters of characters Now we should get a random character out of this every single time Now uh, let's just see okay where we have time okay So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and create a new variable this variable is going to be called length and the length variable can be for all sprites and Length let's just go ahead and set to something like 10 all right 10. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the length and we're going to grab a repeat length and then let's just set length to 10 at the very top here and then we're just going to go ahead and create a new variable called password password and click OK and the password we're just going to go ahead and set password to blank so you can just click the backspace key on your keyboard um, yeah, so password is blank, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set password to, um, join, we're going to need the join block, join password to, and then this, this, uh, this piece of code that we made a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, a minute ago, maybe. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and put that inside there. And let's just go ahead and grab a wind green flag clicked and stick that on there. And now we have a, a password generator. Yeah, you didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Um, yeah, so now we have a random password generator. Now, this is extremely hard to memorize. Like, okay, let's just go ahead and change the length to like 20 to make it even more secure. Yeah, okay. Nobody's going to be able to break that in a million years. Um, yeah, so this is a great password generator if you're okay with uh, these, this kind of um, uh, password. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, no, okay, so this password is great and all, but I want to be able to copy it down because I don't want to have to, like, I, I don't have to t type each of these characters out, so I don't want to have to do one, capital W, a, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't want to have to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it copyable. Now, notice that you can't actually copy uh, what's on the, what's on a, um, what is on a variable. You can't actually, like, control V or command V that, uh, control C, or you can't copy that. That's what I want to say. So, but what you can copy is what's in a list. So if, if we could just open up the passwords, uh, the characters, I mean, you can actually just go ahead and copy. If you triple click, you can actually copy whatever is in a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new list called passwords. And this password list is going to just store our password. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of passwords like this. And yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and store this character. So let me just right click and click export. Yeah, there we go. We have characters.txt. Okay, delete all of passwords. We're just going to put that at the very end of our repeat loop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our password, the variable, password, to passwords. All right, like this. Add our password to passwords. And then we're just going to go ahead and add, copy. Uh, we're just going to add this, copy what you see above. Or maybe I should do triple click. <clears throat> triple click to copy what is above. Okay, 
yeah, so, oh, not characters, passwords. Okay, that's, okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is, basically what we're going to do is, after that, we're just going to go and hide, at the very beginning, we're going to hide the list passwords, like this. And then at the very end, we're going to just show the list, right? So let's just show the list passwords. All right, and let's just make the passwords really big, like that. And let's also hide this, these two variables. And yeah, so now we have a passwords list, and now this should actually work. Yes. All right, so if you triple click, actually, yeah, so if you triple click a string of characters, you can actually just select the whole thing. So yeah, so now we can actually just go ahead and copy this, call command, command C or control C if you're on a if you're on a Windows, and then control V. There we go. So now we have a password. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and show the length variable, and I'm just gonna make that into a slider. So I can actually make that a super long password like this. And now, oops, okay, oh okay. So we set paths, we set the length here. Let's just get rid of that. Um Go ahead and, yeah. So now we can actually create a password as long as we want. So, okay, length zero might not work. So let me just um, fix that by changing the slider range from two to 100. Now, if we if we set the length to like something like two and run it, this is a very bad password. Like, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and go here. This is a very bad password, as you can see. Um, but if we change the length of something like uh, five, for example, I bet that's pretty good actually. Copy that, paste that. Whoops, did I paste it? Oh, I, I guess I, I guess I didn't copy it. All right, copy and paste. Okay, that's still uh, not that great. Okay, let's change the length to ten. Copy that. Paste it into here. Okay, so that's not great, uh, but uh, that's better than before. As you can see, it says uh, this password can be cracked faster than the time it takes to get back from a short walk. So that's not great, but uh, it's better than before. So what we can do is actually change the length to like 20. And 21 is fine, I guess. Copy that, and if we put that in here, this is a very, um, very, very, very strong password. As you can see, the bar goes up all the way, and it says your password will be brute force with an average home computer in approximately 10,000 centuries, 10,000 plus centuries, meaning uh, basically forever. <laughs> so you won't have to be, you, have, you won't have to worry about your password being cracked anytime soon. Let me just drink some water because you have to stay hydrated. Uh, okay, so password generator. This is a great password. Eh, what happened to my voice there? Um, this is a great pa What happened here? Oh my god. Um, let me just. Um, what happened? Uh, I don't know what happened actually. Uh, yeah. So now we have a nice password generator that generates random passwords. Uh, as you can see, let's say sixteen. Okay. So, great, so now we have a working password generator. Let's just see how much time we have. Okay, we are basically out of time. Uh, I'm trying to keep these videos less than 20 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, so basically we have a nice working password generator now. So, uh, that is part one of this video, uh, of this series, how to create a good password generator in Scratch. Now next time we're gonna be ba like, as you can see, this password is not very memorable. Like, underscore VJA something, 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 something is not not very memorable, is it? Uh, yeah, so, uh, next time we are going to be making a password generator that actually, uh, actually you can remember, which is kind of important. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share this channel with others. Also, I have a Discord. Uh, finally. Uh, so uh, the link is in the description and it should be on screen right now as well, depending on how lazy I am to edit. Yeah, but yeah, if you, if you want to get help with anything or do something like that, go ahead and visit the Discord. It's linked down in the description below, bleh, below and it should be on the screen right now, depending on how lazy I am uh, for editing. <laughs> so, Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. See you at howtodostuffleason.com and see you next time. Bye.